Hi guys, my name is Miss Holly. I teach the 830 preschool and kindergarten class. And although I've been really sad to miss you guys all the last few weeks, I was really excited when Miss Carissa asked me to come in and read you guys a story. So let's get started. First thing I have to ask you is a question. What big holiday is coming up? If you said Easter, you're right. Easter is one of my favorite holidays because it's about something that really sad happened and then something really happy happened. So let's read our story today and find out what happened. The story we're reading today is called The Garden, the Curtain, and the Cross. Let's see what's inside. A long, very long time ago, right here in this world, there was a garden. Do you see the earth right there? In the middle of space. And there was a garden. In the garden, everything was wonderful. The world was full of laughing, playing, smiling, and fun. There was nothing bad ever. There was no one sad ever. And best of all, guess what? God was there. He made it all. He was in charge of it all and he loved it all. People could see God and speak to God and just enjoy being with God. This is God's voice. Hello, Adam. Hello, Eve. And Adam says, Eve, God's here. He wants to walk with us again. And how cool is that? And Eve says, yay, I bet it's going to be even more amazing than yesterday. Would you like to walk with God and talk with him? That would be really, really cool. It was wonderful to live with God. But then one day, uh-oh, something bad. The people did a terrible thing. They decided they didn't want to do what God said. They decided they wanted a world without God in charge. God calls this sin. Sin spoils things. So sin has no place in God's wonderful garden. God said to people, you can't live with me in my garden anymore. And they sent him out and he sent them outside. Do you ever sin? Do you ever do bad stuff? Me too. It makes me sad. Just show the people that they had to stay outside. God put some warrior angels out in front of the garden. The angels were like a big keep out sign. Now things sometimes were sad and people were sometimes sad. But people still kept sinning because they didn't want God to be in charge. So no one could come into God's wonderful place. God said because of your sin, you can't come in. How do you think they all feel about that? Yeah, I'd be sad too. God wanted people to remember, it is wonderful to live with him, but because of your sin, you can't come in. So I told the people to build a special building called a temple where he would live. This is called a temple. In the middle of the temple was the most wonderful place in the world, the place where God was with nothing bad and nothing sad. It was very exciting. So right in the middle is where God was. But then again, God told, uh, God told people to put a big curtain around his wonderful place. The curtain had pictures of warrior angels on it. It was another keep out sign. For hundreds of years, that's a long, long time, the temple's curtain reminded people that God said, it is wonderful to live with him, but because of your sin, you can't come in. Babies became grown-ups and they had babies. And those babies became grown-ups and they had babies. And those babies grew up and they had babies. And the keep out sign, keep out curtain stayed in the temple. They still can't go in. Then one day, God's son came to live in this world as a person. What was God's son name? His name was Jesus. Jesus always did what God said. Jesus never sinned. <gasps> and Jesus visited the temple where the keep out curtain was. Jesus knew that things were sometimes bad and sometimes sad. Jesus said that God had sent him to open the way back to God's wonderful place where there would be nothing bad and no one sad. <gasps> How's he gonna do that? People still didn't want to let God be in charge, so they decided to put Jesus on the cross to die. Oh no, it was the most bad thing that had ever happened. 
it was the most sad day of all time. But Jesus had a plan. He had always planned to die on the cross. What a strange plan. Why would God's son plan to die? Oh, we get a red tape. That's like, this is my favorite part. On the cross, Jesus took our sin. All the bad things we do and all the sad things they cause. Jesus took them all from us. And when he did something amazing, astonishing, outstanding happened. Jesus did it because he loves us. Wow. Guess what happened though? <gasps> the curtain tore. God had ripped up the keep out sign. God's wonderful place is open again. Because Jesus, we get to go in. After Jesus died, his friends put him in a tomb. They were very sad. For two days, nothing happened. And then on the next day, the third day, Jesus' friends went to see his body in the tomb. But, and guess what? It wasn't there. A little later, Jesus' friends were all together. And suddenly, Jesus was there, alive! Selling his friends, they weren't sad. Now they were so, so happy. God had brought Jesus back to, to life so that he could live in God's wonderful place forever. And Jesus had sent everyone an invitation to come and live with us there too. He tells us, God says it's wonderful to live with him. Because of your sin, you can't come in. But I died on the cross to take your sin. We can live with God forever. There will be nothing bad and no one sad. We will see God and speak to God and just enjoy being with God, just as he had planned. It will be wonderful to live with him, and it's all because of Jesus. We will say every day, thank you, Jesus. You're, you're amazing, and you can start saying that today. Can you say that? Say, thank you, Jesus. You're amazing. So remember, guys, when you celebrate Easter and you get to go Easter egg hunts or see Easter bunnies, that the reason we celebrate Easter isn't just because of Easter bunnies, but it's because Jesus died on the cross. And although that was really, really sad, one, two, three days later, Jesus rose from the dead and he's alive today and he loves you. And we all love you too. And I miss you guys and can't wait to see you again. Happy Easter.